Greetings and welcome. As you can tell from my festive hat, it's the holidays and 2023 is nearly over. Sure has been a crazy year with some ups, downs, sideways, backwards, loops, and all the same. Anyway, we're going to end this year with three tantalizing tales of terror, all holiday themed, sort of. First up, we have the Elk Warden. This takes place in the winter, and there's elk, which are like reindeer, so it's close enough to the holidays. Then we have Frosty the Snow Hitman. And then we're going to end our tales of terror with Ginger Dead Man. That'll be the last video of the year. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy. The Elk Warden. In the ancient tapestry of folklore, the Elk Warden emerges as a haunting and fearsome entity weaving a sinister dance through the shadowed realms of dense forests and towering mountains. Legends whisper of a creature with antlers that pierce the moonlit skies and a hulking silhouette that strikes terror into the hearts of those who dare to cross its path. Known as the Wendigo's Wrath, the Elk Warden is said to be a vengeful guardian of the wilderness, marking certain individuals with an otherworldly curse. Those unfortunate enough to bear the curse find themselves ensnared in the creature's relentless pursuit as it roams the wilderness seeking its marked prey. The abducted souls are said to become lost in the eerie echoing cries of the Elk Warden, forever bound to the dark and enigmatic forces that dwell within the ancient woods and jagged peaks. Tales warn of the ominous silence that befalls those who witness the Elk Warden's approach, a silence broken only by the haunting echoes of the antlers clashing in the moonlit night. And welcome everybody to The Elk Warden. This is a game available on Itch.io, brought to us by LOL Scrubs. LOL Scrubs. We're gonna go ahead and get started. This is where my story starts. My name has been marked down since my birth. The curse has been placed upon my family generations ago. Now that my time has come, all these people I used to call friends turned away from me as not to draw its anger upon themselves. But I will break this everlasting cycle of torture. There is an occult church in the city, my very last chance. My 50th birthday marks my death day, or the day I will forever overcome my destiny. So my name is a mystery, and I'm almost 50, I think, if the information given to me is correct. And we're heading down this very long hallway looking for an occult church. The fastest way to the city is through the forest. Fan freaking tastic. That's where the elk thing lives, right? Is that It's a big ass tree. Jesus Christ, my tiny. All right. <laughs> Shit. Jesus mother. Turn on your headlights. There's a path. It'd be nice if there was a a lit a lit path. A little shed. I don't know. That's not important. All right, to the forest looking for the occult church. Hopefully, the elk warden won't get me, and it's not quite my death day. It'd be interesting if you knew when you were gonna die. Oh, the path has disappeared. Um, I don't know if I want to go down that. It's kind of a steep drop. Okay, well, let's follow the path, I guess. Maybe this is where I want to go. Hold shift to run. Oh, shit! Shit, 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 shit! Jesus Christ, this thing is chasing me. I think it's right behind me. It's so loud. I didn't get to look at it. It was just suddenly it was there. Okay. Oh, no, it's still there. Oh god. Oh god. 
Thank God I have so much unlimited stamina. Why is it chasing me now? Why is it chasing me now? Strafe. Strafing is so much faster. I hope. Oh, am I back in this? No. Okay. I made it out of the woods. Okay. The city. Finally. House? Okay. I'm looking both ways. Nobody's coming. Okay. Alright. Well, hopefully the elk warden will shift to run. Why am I running? Woo! Shit! Jesus! Birthday! Today or yesterday or tomorrow, whatever day you're watching it. <laughs> Holy shit! Probably wasn't actually born in December. Fuck. What's it doing in the city? Oh, good. I found the church. Uh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I already expected you. Cool, probably because my family's been murdered. Those whole those whose names have been marked by the most ancient and perilous creature called the Elk Warden often seek my uh, dominion for help. I am afraid, however, there is only one way, and you may risk your yet untarnished soul along the path that lies in front of you. Are you still willing to pursue the most dangerous journey? I do. I will. I am. Then take this blessed weapon out of pure silver. I'm guessing I had to kill this thing. What? The demon realm. Oh crap! Fire so loud. Oh my god! So much screaming. What is- oh god, god, oh, I'm gonna, I'll turn it down for you, here, I can't hear anything, I just hear a lot of screaming, I don't know where I'm going, hopefully, uh, this will take me somewhere, so freaking loud, thank you, thank you priest, sending me into a very loud environment, and giving me no heads up, loud, this would be so much screaming, Whispering in my ears. Oh, did I find what I was looking for? I so. Oh, this is where I want to go. Oh, God. Left mouth button to shoot. Where is this thing? Gordon. Thanks, little scrubs. Well, that was short, sweet, heart poundingly terrifying for a minute. Oh, the love sounds always make everything even scarier than it should be. I hope you had fun. All right, on to the next one. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly soul, but Frosty the Hitman's motives remain to be seen. This is Frosty the Snow Hitman. 
My family should have arrived hours ago for our Christmas dinner. I should go over and see what is taking them so long. Go over where? They live close to me? Oh, a little snowman out there. Is that Frosty the Snow Hitman that I've already been told about by the name of the game? How do I? Okay, that must be how I got out of here. Ooh, wow, I got a whole thing with stuff. Um, hello? I'm confused. Ah, well, this information. The legend of Frosty. In the small, secluded town of Frostvale, nestled deep within the snowy mountains, a chilling legend haunts the residents every Christmas Eve. The tale speaks of a malevolent snowman known as Frosty. Said to come to life when the clock strikes midnight, Born from a cursed snowfall long ago, Frostbane is said to roam the silent streets, seeking unsuspecting victims. With coal for eyes and a twisted carrot for a nose, this spectral snowman is rumored to freeze the hearts of those unfortunate enough to cross its path. Locals recount stories of mysterious disappearances and icy encounters warning one another to stay indoors on the fateful night. Whether a cautionary tale or a sinister reality, the legend of Frostbane casts a shadow over the once festive holiday, turning Christmas Eve into a night of fear and dread for the residents of Frostvale. Neat. Oh, crap. Okay, so I had to read that first. Oh no! Oh my god, who could have done this? I need to find the others. Really? Who? Who? You already know it's Frosty. Or Frostbane. Or Frostival. Are you? Is this you? I think your nose is pretty straight, so maybe it's not you. How far out do I have to look? I hope not too far. There's a light over this way. Oh jeez, there's a lot of snow out here. I probably shouldn't be out right now, right? Because Frosty? Frosty's gonna murder me? Frostbane? I don't have the means to run. I'm scared. I can jump. That's weird. Jump! I found one person! Where are the others? Maybe this is where I should go? I've hit a boundary. Oh, Jesus. Frosty, you stay away from me, okay? Oh, fuck. It's like a weeping angel. Uh, I don't want Frosty to get me. Constantly checking over my shoulder. Oh god, there's another one. It's a cult! It's a group effort of murder! Oh no, somebody else! I hope they're not related. They should have known better to come to come out. Hey, can't be the only one left! Really? Two family? Oh god. Jesus. Evil Frosty has red eyes and buttons. Oh no, another person. This can't be happening. It is happening. It's happening right now. Unless this is a dream. And I should have known better to stay outside. Sometimes you just count your losses. Oh god, there's three of them. Oh god, there's so many of them. Why would they do that? I hope I'm not the only one left. That would be sad. Is this the church? Oh god, he's moving. Stop moving! Stop it! 
I think this is the first person I found, right? Yeah. So I found three so far. Where is everybody? How do I end this frosty life? Can I interact with this thing? I don't want to. I don't want to even try it. Maybe I get a gun to kill it. Oh god, it's so monstrously close. This cheery music is really off-putting. Woo! Run where? No! 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 I died? Damn you, Frostbane! Frosty the Snow Hitman, programmed by Lil Scrubs. Alright. Well, that was a fun little adventure. Terror. Christmas. Anyway. We're gonna move on to our final experience of the holidays. Finally, we finish our holiday horror nights with Ginger Dead Man. This is not an LL Scrubs game. This is brought to us by Capybara Forge. You can interact with blinking objects by looking at them and pressing E. Go on, E. It's time to make a gingerbread man. I love gingerbread. Men or not, I love gingerbread. It's delicious. Oh, is this where I have to? Let's form a gingerbread man. Okie doke. Delightful! Well done. It's time to put him into the oven. No mixing, no making, nothing. Just... Perfect! Now how about decorating the Christmas tree? Okie doke. Where's the tree? The tree's in here. I didn't even set the temperature. Did I, like, preheat the oven? Did I do anything to prep it? No, just Christmas tree. Okay, look straight at the tree. Don't move. Hooray! Lights! No ornaments? Nothing? Okay. Well, this is a nice little... I would say it's a one-bedroom apartment, but where do I sleep? Is this my bedroom? Or is this outside? No? Because that looks like it goes outside. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I sleep in the entryway? No. I. Oh, wait. This must be the sleep to my bedroom. I probably shouldn't sleep, though. Cookie! No, that's, that's not a cookie. That's milk. <sighs> Fire. Fire is toasty. Oh, it is gone. But where did it go? How did it get out of the oven? Oh, it's right there, right? No? Ouch! Hi! Cookie murderer. That's weird. There you are. But you are not ready yet. Back in the oven. Oh, I need to decorate it. Let's decorate it. Okie doke. Now, place it next to the milk. Santa will adore this gift. Okie dokie. What about Festivus? Guess I celebrate Christmas. I want presents. Tomorrow will be a great day. Okie doke. Now it's time to go to bed. You want to be a good boy, don't you? What if I was a lady? Well, I guess I'm playing as an avatar. All right, fine, let's go to bed. Yeah, 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 good boy, bed, go to bed. That's, oh, wow, Jesus Christ, that's adorable. <laughs> it's his birthday. <laughs> Santa is coming home. Home? Oh, wait. Why would he come home? Wouldn't he just come here to my house? Does he live here? Oh, I'm Santa. Only milk? That's sad. Ho, ho, ho. Where's my cookie? All right, leave the presents under the tree. Oh, I don't really know. How do I? I thought I know if you're sleeping and when you're a woo! All right, well, that's the end of Ginger Dead Man. Santa, no! He killed Santa. Why was this Ginger Dead Man alive? Why was he active? Why was he anything? Also, here is a cute doggo. Uh, that's not a doggo. 
All right, well, that's the end of Ginger Dead Man. Why was he possessed? Why was he evil? What were his motivations other than just pure evil? Why did he kill Santa? I hope I was the last house so Santa didn't end up, you know, not delivering candy and treats and presents to all the good little boys and girls and men and women and everything else that celebrates. Anyway, that was Ginger Dead Man. I hope you had fun. You were as unsettled by that as I was. Now I'm going to think twice about eating gingerbread people. I think I'll just eat the straight bread. Don't even bother making a person. Unless the loaf is going to kill you. Anyway. Um, hmm. Favorite of the three experiences. They were all equally terrifying. And fun and weird and odd. And simple and short. What was your favorite one? I mean, the first one wasn't technically a holiday game. But it did take place with an elk warden thing and the elk are like reindeer and Santa uses reindeer and Santa's Christmas and Christmas is Jesus and I said Jesus Christ a lot because it's his celebrated birthday can you imagine how anyway I digress I hope you had fun don't forget to subscribe so you know the next time I post something as this 2024 gets off to a fun hopeful start I hope you had a good year. It was more good than bad. And, uh, don't forget really to give a like if you've enjoyed these three experiences and comment about your favorite one. I think ultimately... You know what? I don't really have a favorite one. They're all kind of the same. I'm not the same. Like, they're... I have a, e equal feelings about each of them. Be nice to your gingerbread people. Make sure you eat their legs and arms. So they can't move and go after you. Or maybe you should eat their head first so they can't murder. Well, no, they need their arms to murder. You know what? Just don't make gingerbread people. Just eat the bread. And uh, be careful what kind of snow person you make. And don't upset the forest spirits or the elk warden will get you. Anyway. In the meantime, start this year off nice and you have yourselves a nice everything. And I hope you have the year that you deserve. Bye. Mason, no talking.